Hello Jusponians, welcome back again with me Muji Sensei in another episode of this small mathematics classroom. Today I will be discussing a mathematics question. Okay, so for those of you who are joining the Gizmo Autumn 2023 and taking mathematics, please pay good attention. Okay, everyone, for today's class, we have some ground rules. Okay, so in the competition, you will only have less than three minutes to solve the questions and putting it in the answer sheet. So make sure you have enough time to answer in the competition. Okay. But for today's class, I will give you time to pause this video for 3 minutes to solve the questions and put it in the comments down below. Tada! Okay, so Momo, can you read the questions for everyone? Find the area of the shaded parts in the following figures. Okay, thank you Momo. And your 3 minutes starts from now. Okay, everyone, so three minutes have passed. Now, do you know the answers to the question? Me, me, Muji Sensei. Okay, yes, Jimin, what's the answer? Yes, it is the area of trapezoid minus the areas of the unshaded region, which is 10 plus 5 times 12 divided by 2, minus 10 times 8 divided by 2, plus 5 times 4 divided by 2, which equals 2, 90 mm -hmm. minus 40 plus 10. Okay. That equals to 40 square centimeters. Okay. Nice, Jimin. Well done. Muji Sensei, uh, what if I do not know or forget the formula of the trapezoid? What do I do? Okay, Momo, there is another way. So I will draw dotted lines. Okay, I will draw these extra lines and then form what we call a rectangle. Okay, so this rectangle will be our total area and this is 12 times 10 equals to 120 square centimeters minus the area of the big triangle which is 40 square centimeters minus the area of the smaller triangle which is 10 square centimeters and then we minus the area of the two dotted line triangles which are 12 times 5 divided by 2 equals to 30 square centimeters so our result is 40 square centimeters, which is the same with Jimin. Okay, Momo, do you understand now? Yes, but it is too long. Do you have a shorter way? Okay, Momo, good question. Okay, I will now show you a way that even lower graders can do. Okay, so in this method, you need to understand that if a triangle has the same base and height in any orientation, okay, they will have the same area. Okay, now I have both triangles A and B. Okay, I will outline them over A and B. They have the same base and height. So, they have the same area, which is 12 times 5 equals to 60 square centimeters. Okay, everyone, do you know why I do not need to divide this by 2? Okay, yes, this one is because I have two triangles. So when I divide by 2, I multiply by 2 again. Okay, everyone. And then, do you see this small unshaded triangle? Okay, so this one crosses both triangle A and B. So we need to subtract this small triangle from triangle A and B. So the area of the small triangle is 5 times 4, which is equal to 20 square centimeters. Okay, remember that we do not need to divide or times by 2 again because they will cross out. And then after this, we subtract 60 with 20 and we get 40 square centimeters, which is the same with Jimin and my previous method. Okay, everyone? Do you understand, Momo? Wow, Muji Sensei. Amazing! Arigato gozaimasu! Okay, everyone. So, how did your calculation do at home? I hope you had a great success. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, like, and share to your friends and family so that they can also do this calculation at home. Okay, everyone? And if you want more challenging questions, please go to our website, link down below. And if you want solving with Muji Sensei, 
Okay, you can call, you can contact our admin down below for more classes. And that's it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.